Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Military Forces Unleashed. Today we're diving into the world of Russian air defense with the Tor M2, a system that's been making waves and shooting down anything that dares enter its airspace. Whether you're an aircraft, a missile, or just a poor lost drone, the Tor M2 is ready to greet you with some high-velocity Russian hospitality. So buckle up as we explore this fascinating piece of military hardware. The TOR system first appeared during the Cold War, a time when the Soviet Union was determined to assert its dominance in the skies. Back then, the doctrine was simple. Anything that flew over Soviet territory without permission needed to be shot down, no questions asked. The original TOR, which made its debut in the early 1980s, was a direct response to the evolving aerial threats of the time. Low-flying aircraft and increasingly sophisticated missiles posed a significant challenge, and the aging Soviet air defense system simply couldn't keep up. The TOR was designed to fill this gap, bringing with it a level of mobility and responsiveness that older systems lacked. It was a clear message to any would-be intruders. Think twice before entering Soviet airspace. Fast forward to the post-Soviet era, and the threats had evolved yet again. By 2008, the world was dealing with an entirely new set of challenges, drones, precision-guided munitions, and a vastly more complex and crowded airspace. Enter the TOR M2. This modernized variant wasn't just a simple upgrade, it was a complete overhaul designed to address these emerging threats. With enhanced radar, faster reaction times, and the ability to engage multiple targets simultaneously, the Tor M2 was Russia's answer to a rapidly changing battlefield. It represented years of development driven by the need to maintain air superiority in an environment where even the smallest mistake could prove catastrophic. The Tor M2 wasn't just about defense, it was about staying ahead in a game where the rules were constantly changing. When it comes to design, the Tor M2 is not aiming for aesthetics. This machine isn't concerned with looking good, it's built for survival and lethality. The Tor M2 is a tracked vehicle that doesn't care about winning beauty contests, it cares about functionality. Its boxy, utilitarian exterior might not turn heads, but it's that no-nonsense design that makes it a formidable asset on the battlefield. Every inch of the Tor M2 is engineered for purpose, from its heavily armored chassis to its all-terrain tracks that can plow through mud, snow, or whatever else the environment throws at it. At first glance, it might seem like a lumbering beast, but beneath that rugged exterior lies a sophisticated system that's all about precision and speed. Sitting atop this behemoth is a radar system that's nothing short of impressive. The radar provides a 360-degree view of the battlefield, capable of tracking up to 48 targets simultaneously. Below the radar are the launch tubes, loaded with up to 16 surface-to-air missiles, all primed and ready for action. In a matter of seconds, the Tor M2 can detect, track, and eliminate airborne threats with brutal efficiency. Its modular design allows for easy upgrades, ensuring it remains a relevant player in the ever-changing landscape of modern warfare. Flashy features and sleek lines? Not here. The Tor M2 was designed with a single purpose, to spot a threat, lock on, and obliterate it before it knows what hit it. The Tor M2 is driven by a V12 diesel engine that cranks out over 840 horsepower. Now that might not sound like much when compared to the roaring power of a main battle tank, but for a mobile air defense system it's more than enough to get the job done. This engine powers the Tor M2's tracked chassis, allowing it to tackle everything from muddy fields to snow-covered landscapes with ease. It's not about breaking speed records, it's about reliability and durability in tough environments. Whether it's trudging through the unforgiving Russian winter, or navigating the unpredictable terrains of a conflict zone, the Tor M2 can handle it. It's not glamorous, but it's built to keep moving no matter what, making it a versatile asset on any battlefield. On the road, the Tor M2 can reach speeds of up to 65 km per hour, which is respectable for a vehicle of its size and purpose. Its range of about 500 km on a full tank of fuel means it can stay in the fight for the long haul without constantly needing to refuel. While it won't win any races, speed isn't its primary mission. The Tor M2 is designed to stay close to the action, providing a moving shield of protection for advancing troops. It's a mobile fortress, slow and steady, always ready to launch its missiles at any aerial threat that dares to cross its path. Whether moving with a convoy or holding a defensive position, the Tor M2 ensures that the skies remain under control, allowing ground forces to focus on the fight below. The Tor M2 has found itself on the front lines in various conflict zones, 
where it has become an essential piece of Russia's air defense puzzle. In Syria, it has been deployed to protect Russian military installations from the constant threat of drones and missiles. Reports suggest that the Tor M2 has successfully intercepted numerous aerial threats aimed at Russian bases, demonstrating its effectiveness in a live combat environment. It's not the kind of system that makes headlines, but its role in these operations has been crucial. The system's ability to detect, track, and neutralize multiple targets simultaneously under real-world conditions is exactly why it has become a staple in Russian and allied arsenals. In Ukraine, the Tor M2's deployment underscores its strategic importance. Here, the system's presence complicates the aerial tactics of opposing forces. The knowledge that a Tor M2 is lurking nearby forces adversaries to rethink their strategies, often leading to more cautious or even abandoned missions. It's not about flash or fanfare, it's about deterrence and delivering results when it counts. The Tor M2 might not be the most celebrated piece of hardware, but in the complex airspace of modern conflict, its understated reliability and operational capability have made it an indispensable asset. Whether it's downing drones over the Middle East or warding off airstrikes in Eastern Europe, the Tor M2 quietly does its job, altering the battlefield dynamics without needing to boast. For all its technical prowess, the Tor M2 isn't without its shortcomings, and these have not gone unnoticed. One of the most glaring issues is its vulnerability to electronic warfare. In today's battle space, where the ability to disrupt or deceive is as valuable as firepower, the Tor M2 has found itself on the back foot against advanced jamming techniques. There have been credible reports that under intense electronic interference, the system's radar can lose track of targets, rendering its much-touted accuracy moot. In a high-stakes environment where every second counts, the Tor M2's susceptibility to electronic countermeasures can turn a formidable shield into a leaky umbrella. Another area of concern is mobility. The Tor M2 is built on a tracked chassis which, while robust and capable of handling difficult terrain, doesn't lend itself to rapid redeployment. In contrast, wheeled systems like the Panzer S1 offer greater speed and maneuverability, allowing for quicker repositioning in dynamic combat scenarios. The Tor M2's relatively slower pace can be a handicap when quick relocations are necessary to respond to shifting threats or to avoid counter-battery fire. In essence, while it can move, it does so at a pace that might not keep up with the fast tempo of modern warfare. Maintenance is another thorn in the Tor M2's side. The system's complexity is both a strength and a weakness. On one hand, its advanced technology enables a range of capabilities that older systems could only dream of. On the other hand, this same complexity demands a high level of expertise from its operators and maintainers. The need for well-trained crews is non-negotiable, but training takes time, and in the field, time is a luxury. Moreover, the availability of spare parts is a persistent issue, especially in prolonged deployments or remote locations. The Tor M2's high maintenance requirements mean that without the proper logistical support, its performance can degrade, leaving gaps in the very air defenses it's supposed to secure. Finally, there's the matter of cost versus effectiveness. The Tor M2 is an expensive piece of kit, and while it does offer significant capabilities, it's worth asking whether those capabilities justify the price tag, especially when considering its limitations. In an era where militaries are under pressure to do more with less, the Tor M2's operational costs and its mixed track record against modern threats raise questions about its long-term value. It's a system that, for all its strengths, doesn't always live up to the hype when scrutinized under the harsh light of real-world operations. The Tor M2 represents more than just an air defense system, it embodies Russia's dedication to defending its airspace with relentless commitment. While it might not boast the sleekest design or the highest tech features, it's a workhorse of a system that's proven itself time and again. In the high-stakes world of military technology, where every new system seems to promise the moon, the Tor M2 stands as a testament to the value of no-nonsense, effective design. It's a reminder that, sometimes, the essence of military power isn't in flashy features but in the reliable execution of core functions. Introduced in the early 1980s and later modernized into the Tor M2, this system reflects Russia's strategic approach to air defense. It's a practical piece of hardware that has undergone continuous updates to stay relevant against evolving threats. These enhancements include upgrades to its radar capabilities, allowing it to track a broader range of aerial threats, from aircraft to drones. The Tor M2's ability to adapt over time illustrates its role not just as a relic of past military thinking, 
but as a current and effective tool in Russia's defense strategy. It's been refined to handle the modern battlefield's demands while retaining its core functionality. The Tor M2's continued relevance and the incremental improvements it has received demonstrate Russia's commitment to maintaining a robust air defense capability. Its enduring presence in the Russian military arsenal serves as a reminder that effective air defense doesn't always require the latest technology, but rather a system that can be reliably upgraded and adapted. The Tor M2's story is one of persistence and practicality, showing that sometimes, the most powerful tool is the one that gets the job done efficiently, even if it's not the flashiest one around. And that's a wrap on the Tor M2. If you enjoyed this deep dive into one of Russia's most reliable air defense systems, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to Military Forces Unleashed for more content like this. Got any thoughts or questions? Drop them in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, keep your eyes on the skies and stay informed.